In part F, to get the time domain expression, we would take our electric field vector phasor. We would put back in e to the j omega t, and then we would take the real part. That would be our electric field expression in space and time, z and t in this case. So, if we do that, we're going to take the real part of y hat 10 e to the j point to z. Oh, and then don't let me forget, we're going to be putting in e to the j, e to the j omega t. Taking the real part gives us y hat 10 and the real part of the exponential is the cosine, cosine omega t plus 0.2z. I can write these in any order. And so to complete this, we need to add a value for omega t. And in a previous part, in part d, we solved for the frequency of the wave. So this is 2 pi f. And we can plug in 4.77 megahertz and we would get about 3 times 10 to the 7th there. So then our final expression, e z of t and y hat 10 cosine 3 times 10 to the 7th t plus 0.2 z volts per meter.